Found out I was going to be a father because of a pregnancy test that my wife took and then I looked at it and I was like, oh, so you peed on this thing? And then I saw double lines and I was like, this is before the time of COVID. So I'm just like, that's positive in a positive manner. Hey guys, my name is Riel. I am 30 years old. I am a uh, content strategist, YouTuber, I MC, I beatbox, trade crypto, and I'm a father. I have a three-year-old daughter, she's turning four. Her name is Lily, love my life. My name is Christopher Lee. I'm uh, 56 years old. I'm working as a project manager in one of the telecommunications company. I have three kids, one uh, girl, two boys. My name is Ashraf, I'm 37 years old. I am the head of video production at Ref Media Group. And I have two boys, one four years old, Zain, and another one one year old, Zain. I'm Mitran, I have two kids. I have a boy who is six and a daughter who is two. I currently work with cloud computing organization, Lava Protocols and Castella. I'm on the commercial side or sales part of the business. My sister pregnant though, my wife they give the test though. I feel excited, but at the same time, I feel much like nervous also lah because I don't know like what's next. I don't think I ever knew I was ready to be a father. I think the biggest thing that I always enjoyed was being an uncle. Of course, the part about being an uncle is it doesn't come with the attachment or the responsibilities. Because I like kids. I always think that I am ready to become a dad. But when my uh, firstborn come out, I was like quite clueless. Like, what is this? I have a very different feeling when my child was born. I had this overwhelming instinct of I am going to protect her no matter what. And that to me is a father's love. It is an instinct to be the best protector you can be. Somehow it's naturally that once you have a baby, it's like an instinct you have to become a good dad. Going back to work full time and with my children at home, I felt a lot of guilt that I wasn't spending enough time. I needed to be present. At the same time, I had the responsibility to earn and continue that responsibility. A lot of people think being a dad is the tough part of the job. But to me, the toughest part of the job is not being a dad. It's those leaving at 7 a.m. and coming back at 10 p.m. Like this morning, I had to send my daughter at like 7 a.m. And then I have to finish up all my work and my meetings by 4 p.m. so I can go drive two hours to pick her up. Being a working parent, we are trying to leave office as early as possible. Normally, we will actually do some activities during weekends. But now, I don't think so because they are already a teenager. They keep it to themselves. So it's like hardly we have a time to talk to each other. But I will try to be good friends to them as best as possible. My relationship with my father, we seldom talk. I was brought up by my grandma and aunties. Basically, I don't have both motherly and fatherly love and cares. Lah. I'm trying my best to be a, come a good, a de better than him. But actually, I regret when he passed away. <coughs> Sorry. I don't have the opportunity to talk to him because uh, I still angry with him for what he did. I regret to tell him that I love him as well. My mom raised me like uh, single-handedly and I think how that shaped me as a father is because I don't have a father figure, I want to be there for my kids and I want to be the best father for my kids. Lah. My biggest fear as a father is really not living up to the dad that I want to be and the dad that Lily wants me to be. I can't provide enough for them, can give them a good education, I can't protect them. What happens if I leave this world earlier than expected? If I miss, you know, signals from them, you know, if they're insecure, certain fears, I think that's something that always plays in the back of my ear that, you know, I do not want to disappoint my children as much as it's hard. That's one thing I really don't want to do and I hope I don't. Being a father is like you always have concern to your kids from baby to teenage or even to, to adulthood. I would advise to those new dads trying to take some photograph of their kids so that once they are old, they can just refresh their, their old memories. There's no one way of how to raise your kids. Like you can get advice, you can read and do research, but your kids are unique to you create as much passive income as possible so that you don't need to work so much and that you can focus on being a dad at least 20% of the time because even that 20% is tough to get sometimes. People say like, ah, oh, it's okay, you can plan along the way but believe me that you need to plan way before your kids keluar lah. 
your immediate instinct is to provide and protect. That's one of the roles of being a father. But at the end of the day, what your kid needs from you isn't as obvious as your next paycheck. It can be as simple as a free afternoon with them. We're all different. We're all busy and you know, some people are busier than the other. But during that one or short period of time that you get every day to spend with your child, be totally present. I think the, the most important thing is to be the best version of you. We first need to start with this. I think we first need to work on our own energies, our own responses, our own awareness of, you know, when I get angry, when I get upset, how do I deal with it? But I think as you go along, you just, with all the challenges and time and sleeplessness, that smile that they give you just still say, you know what, it's all just worth it. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Mashable Southeast Asia and to all fathers out there, including myself. Happy Father's Day and just have a great day and pamper yourself. Over.